Hi everyone, so today I thought I would just give you a little tour of the bunny's room and um, how I've decorated it for Christmas. I haven't done a ton, I don't like go overboard with the decorations, but I have put a few little bits and pieces around and put up a few extra fairy lights in the room as well. So I thought I would just give you a little look at that and um, yeah, give you a little Merry look at the Christmas. Christmas. In the room. Okay, so here's an overview first of all of the room. do is just pop um, coloured decorations on the the toys that I have in here just to um, I guess make the colour theme a little bit more appropriate I usually have the pink and red anyway so I just add a little bit more of the Christmassy red in here I have a beautiful pink Christmas tree that my sister made for me I really wanted to get a pink Christmas tree for the bunnies room this year but when I had a look online, I couldn't find anything affordable in the pink color. Um, and so she decided to make me one, which was just amazing. And she even felted the little angel bunny on top. She's just, so, just so blown away that somebody would go to all the trouble of making that for me. It's just so humbling. And above the little Christmas tree, I've got the shelf up here and I've just popped. I already had the lights there. I have them around all year. But I've just popped some decorations hanging from the shelf there as you can see and popped a couple of little Christmas coloured details onto the shelf there and below that I have a little bunny statue with a Christmassy bow on and I popped a little Christmas outfit on my my doll there and again as I said, I've mostly popped little outfits on my toys. They're pet outfits but because I don't really dress my pets up. At least, you know, it's only for two seconds for a photo shoot if I do. Um, I've just reused the toys, the clothes on the toys. So we've got a little pottery gingerbread house there. It's a little actually cookie jar but the bunnies can't chew it at all so it's really handy in their room. Just a few more tiny little stockings there. They're actually um, Christmas tree ornaments, but because they're so small, I thought, well, they're perfect size for their bunny size. That's appropriate. And then I have got a little gingerbread man plushie there and a little wooden Christmas tree. And then up here, we have got the piggy's cage and they have got their new Christmas penguin polar fleece in their pen at the moment. With the little Christmassy penguins in there. And they also have some lights around their, their pen. And I put these uh, lights along here as well, which I don't usually have. Now all the lights are battery operated. I would never use plug-in lights around the pets. I would not risk that. So my animals don't tend to try and get things that are up higher on the bars of the pens like this. So they actually don't chew them and all the lights are battery operated. So they are safe. They're not gonna electrocute them, which is really, really important because you don't wanna put your pets at risk at all. So that's just a quick little overview of the, the room. Uh, and I also have taken last night, I took a little bit of footage of the pet room. <laughs> I've got a lot to drink there, my love. Me and Noisy Drinker. Um, I also took a little bit of footage of the room at night time because you can't really see the fairy lights very much during the day. So I took a little bit of footage last night of that. So I'll pop that in in a second. You can see what it looks like at the night time as well. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Thanks, bye.